but if i'm putting this oil every 5000 kilometers once oil need to be replaced if i'm putting normal sporty premium r15 oil then it's 3000 kilometers once i have to replace hey guys this is your chetan and welcome back to the new vlog hope you guys are doing great just look at this bike guys is it looking like a new bike so much of dirt is there on the bike i have to leave it for wash but i don't think so that i'll be leaving the leaving for wash in uh, yamaha service center just look at this so much of mud however i have ride somewhere around 916 kilometers so today we have to leave this vehicle for service there is no fuel it's already showing some indication blinking so first let me go for service center change the oil then get the bike back home then leave it for wash because from last 3 days it's raining crazily in bangalore hopefully today also it might rain because already clouds are formed if it rains again whatever i wash it's waste still i have not installed this mobile mount so first i have to buy off this mobile holder because it's very very useful whenever i am doing motor vlogging especially if i don't have that no it is something like i can't vlog at all everything full thing i have to record then put it for editing then whatever is required take that much rest all i need to delete for softening itself it will take half an hour if i'm taking the full vlog and if i'm pu putting it for editing so for that reason mobile holder is really very very required most of the cars are also dirty maybe rain is the reason behind it day before yesterday to it rained crazily guys kr puram to underpass it was completely flooded towards cv raman nagar in that road i came to avoid traffic and after reaching my house you people should have seen my pant and uh, shoes as well as bike it was completely mud mud something like a chocolate i had become and even vehicle had become something like a chocolate dipped whenever this fuel indicator start blinking that time itself i have to get alert because in this vehicle there is no this uh, reserve switch and all reserve tap or switch whatever it is because in previous vehicle in fz16 i had that so whenever uh, the vehicle used to come for reserve i used to just switch on to reserve then switch on the vehicle the vehicle used to get switched on but in this vehicle there is no switch and all by seeing this fuel indicator i have to get alert that is one major drawback in fuel injector vehicles most of the vehicles that fuel switch is not coming i mean that reserve switch so by watching this fuel indicator i need to be like be bit alert leaving that some of the things are like drawback is there in this vehicle not lot bit compared to my previous bike but pickup is crazy guys pickup is really crazy in this vehicle it's a proper naked bike for city use how much ever traffic is there it just pulls if a small space is there also that's more than enough or to overtake but uh, i have not done any kind of top speed or over speeding and all in this vehicle because still first service is also not done so still engine seating i am doing by riding this bike in 60 kilometers per hour max to max 4000 rpm i'll touch not beyond that that fellow had told me before itself not to cross 4000 rpm till first service so that is one thing and one more thing is that still i have not received number from rto side it's been almost like more than a week 
so today i have to ask for the number for what reason they will give let's see hopefully if i get off the number today i'll be the happiest person if not then i have to wait for some more days one more thing is that no temporary registration also guys just he has put a sticker tr01 he has not given me any kind of papers and all so if any cop catches me then i have to seriously pay the fine and hopefully most of the bangaloreans will be knowing that how much is the fine for without road tax or without temporary registration it will be like 1000 or 2000 bucks whatever the showroom people will do nakra no for that we people are responsible we have to pay the fine it started drizzling again i have to be a bit careful with my gopro still i have not changed this uh, media mode to this transparent case still i am using this media mode moreover the audio clarity of this media mode is too 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 good there is no comparison with adapter so i love making vlog with media mode itself what is the time 110 lunch break started in service center i think so after 2 o'clock only they will do the service so i have to wait for 45 minutes to 1 hour now then get this service done and go back home i'm planning this time to use full synthetic oil so i will show you what kind of oil is that yamaha has launched a new oil so that is doing really great i heard but i think it's bit expensive compared to normal oil so i really don't know the price so let's go inquire about the oil as well as price once we reach to the service center finally reached showroom i have received a oil so actually this is yamaha racing gp racing spec 4 four stroke oil so grade of this oil is 10w40 so actual price is 1300 rupees the origin is japan so all japan language has been used here so one more thing which i have to replace is this oil filter so showroom people they will recommend us to change the oil filter like two service or three service ones but i'll be replacing every service so cost of this is 247 so basic first service cost of mt15 is estimation which they have given is 1800 so we'll see once the bill comes now let's give this and get the service done this is actually full synthetic oil 100% synthetic i hope you people can see here so to hold this itself it's a different feel so after putting this to my bike we'll ride and see how does that works out but if i'm putting this oil every 5000 kilometers once oil need to be replaced if i'm putting normal sporty premium r15 oil then it's 3000 kilometers once have to replace this is actually recommended for uh, r3 and mt09 and all so we'll see we'll try to put for r bike also guys finally first service is done i think first time in my life that i have got my vehicle so early from yamaha service center within 20 minutes only i got my vehicle so oil charges is 1300 247 rupees this uh, oil uh, filter and consumable charges is uh, 236 rupees so total bill is 1783 rupees it's bit expensive itself because i wanted that particular oil so the service charges became bit high or else it would have come nearly like 1000 rupees so 783 rupees more it has become you people can see i didn't leave it for service that's because they'll use only one cloth for tire as well as for vehicle body i don't like that most of the time i have seen previous vehicle also the scratches what ever had happened on the shield 
that's because of service center people itself so i don't want to blame any one after knowing the truth even they will be having lot of vehicle to wash so just for name sake they will do washing i can't even blame them so it's better that i wash this bike at house itself moreover i am not happy outside washing also where is this fellow going after riding some 200 or 300 kilometers then only i can say review about this new 100% synthetic oil of yamaha till then i can't say anything but uh, as of now sound is same everything is same the feel of ride is also like slightly change that's because of oil change leaving that as of now there is no changes i can say i need at least 2 days of ride with this new oil and after the service after that i can say you the review about this new oil and one more recommendation and one more personal suggestion to all my viewers and subscribers whoever has specially yamaha bikes every service try to change oil filter because it keeps your engine safe and secured moreover uh, you people might be knowing the old oil whichever is getting out from the engine slightly the color will be not slightly the color will be like completely black that because that's because oil would have got burnt so it's better in that moment if you people change the oil filter also even the oil filter on top of oil filter the burnt oil will be sat so when you are putting the new oil it's better that you people change new oil filter also that makes sense and even the performance will be like bit better or much better itself i can say but one thing about yamaha is see just look at the salmon 6th gear but the speed what i am maintaining is 3940 but still it will not ask for a drop of gear like dropping down to 5th gear or 4th gear it will just take up the pickup in the same speed itself i thought 1 liter oil will be put for engine but for this vehicle it's 850 to 900 uh, ml of oil will be put for engine so rest of the oil i'll be taking back to home in the same bottle itself anyhow guys i'm going to be ending this vlog here itself i just wanted to make the first service vlog of mt15 and i did it if you people would have liked this vlog please do like share and comment catch your people in the next vlog till then bye take care see ya